The leaves on my Kwanzaa cherry tree are turning brown. For the last 30 days, it has been in the 90s with little or no rain. Before that, we had a ton of rain for a couple of weeks. The trees are about 16 or 17 years old. Any idea about what is going on? And this is David from Boonesville, Virginia. Boonesville, Virginia. Yeah, Kwanzaa okay. cherry tree. They got a little bit of different weather than there than we got. Yeah, just a little different, just I would little, say. Yeah. yeah, I would definitely say that. It's been years since I've been there, so I, definitely I, I need that. to go back to remind myself. To be, to <laughs> but uh, the wet weather. So they had the hot had temperatures. They had the wet weather, the hot had, temperature. Yeah. And they had no rain, and all of a sudden they had a lot of rain. When we have a lot of rain mm -hmm. like that, the, the fungus diseases will show their heads. Yes, they will. And no it, doubt. with the rain, it just, the spores grow and it continually splashes and no causes doubt. it to grow again. I think we have another case of cherry leaf scorch here. Okay. And um, it's not fire blight, it's scorch. No, no fire blight. All right. We're going to stick with the word scorch. So, I, I mean, we, to really define it, it needs to go to a laboratory. Mm -hmm. But my educated guess is going to be cherry leaf scorch. Okay. It's not bacterial, but chances are more than likely i would say more than 75 percent that he has cherry leaf scorch okay and uh look up what types of fungicides that you use in your area uh whether read and follow the label on those fungicides the label. for the scorch yeah for sure yeah and uh and that's the best advice i could give you and also i would fertilize this tree in, in the late fall okay but i would say this too yeah make sure you practice good sanitation you want to get those leaves up because some of those leaves will have fungal spores of course that too so yeah. you want so to you make sure you pick up your leaves and dispose of them in the trash because yes, when it rains uh, or you use your irrigation it'll never go away because that's when right. it, the water hits those wet leaves the spores just fly back up in the air that's right and reattack the plant. And I would, of uh, course, check with a certified arborist yes. or you know if your local extension agent there yeah uh, boomville will help you out as well yeah, I'll definitely do that. But yeah, anytime you have these cherry trees, especially these ornamental cherry trees, and you have a lot of wet weather, yeah. you're going to have fungal diseases. Yeah, but look up cherry leaf scorch. Mm -hmm. Do your homework on it. Homework's fun. <laughs> <laughs> homework's fun. Yeah, uh, that's I do homework every day. Uh, so do I. Yeah, I'm and with you on that. I, I work off pictures like this. Uh -huh. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It's challenging. And you learn a lot, though. You learn a lot. You learn a lot. Yeah, yeah sure. so I'm challenging you, David. I would agree. Cherry leaf scorch. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, subscribe. We have hundreds of family plot videos for you to view.